Obama. We, the women of Congo, are suffering. We need peace. We are raped every day by the militias. Each time we speak of violence, violence done to women, but nothing changes. President Obama, help us chase away the Interhamwe Hutu militia in the forest. Help and end this butchery that's going, going on here, because there's this silent war that continues on the woman's body. And the extremist Hutu militia came while I was in the fields with my husband and children. They raped me, and then they took my husband and my children away. So you, Mr. President, imagine the emptiness you'd feel if you lost your wife, if you didn't have your other half to support you. If they were to rape her in front of you, you would feel pain. And likewise, we feel pain. With utmost respect, if you lost your wife, what could you possibly achieve without her? We suffer because we live in chaos. We're raped in the forest, then our husbands reject us. We're even abandoned by society. We want peace. Give us peace. We know you're not an African president, but we hoped by the time you became the president that you will have at least this African sensi sensitivity to come and help us end this war. My name is Chance. I'm nine years old. My mother and father were killed. Life is hard. I have no money to pay for my studies. I am asking President Obama to help me in any way he can. This is a cry for help from the women of Congo. Mr. Obama, join hands with the President of Congo to stop the extremist Hutu militia from attacking us. If nothing is done to stop them, they'll continue to prey on us, causing so much pain in our souls. We love our country, but we lack peace. And there can be no growth until we have peace. President Obama, help the women in Congo. We're counting on you.